episode of Magic Mike's Meds. And this episode is going to be all about this package right here that I received over the weekend. So I ordered myself up some new genetics and I decided to use a new seed bank altogether. Um, I'm not sure many of you might know, I, I used to use GYO seeds. Um, they were a seed bank out of, I believe, Great Britain maybe. Um, you know, and, and I had been using them for just about a year, maybe a little bit longer. Um, at first they were really, really good. All the stuff came, uh, you know, my germination rates had never really been that good using them as a seed bank, regardless of the strains that I had been purchasing. So I decided that I was going to try a new seed bank, uh, overseas. Um, and I decided that I was going to try a company called Seedsman.com. That's spelled S-E-E-D-S-M-A-N.com. Now, if you go to their website, you'll see that they have a very extensive library of cannabis seeds. And I was able to find pretty much everything it was that I was looking for. So I decided I was going to spend... Um, and originally my plan was to see how much I could get by spending 200 and, you know, anywhere from 210 to 250 American dollars. I wanted to see what it was I could end up getting. Um, so through GYO seeds, I had play, paid through credit card. Um, and when I got my shipment, there were always a few extras. There were a couple freebies. What I was not real happy about was the last order that I had received, um, it didn't come in any of the breeder packs. So there really is no way to determine whether or not those are the cannabis seeds that I actually ordered. Um, and on top of that, during this final order that I had with GYO seeds, um, they had mentioned that there was a, an issue in their warehousing department and you know, at the end of the day, I just didn't feel all that great uh, with with the last experience that I had with them, which is, you know, what motivated me to try Seedsman. So I set my budget at 210 to 250 bucks, and um, something I did that was completely different was originally I had set it up trying to do a credit card order, um, but for safety and security reasons, I try to use a prepaid card when doing that. Um, and for whatever reason, the prepaid card wasn't going through and they did have an option to send cash. So, uh, at first, you know, I was a little bit weary of sending cash all the way across the world. You know, I am in the United States and I, and, you know, I, I went out online and I read a whole lot of reviews and a lot of them were from cash orders and every single review I read about them was how great of a deal they ended up getting because they paid in cash. Um, so I said, you know what? It's 200, 250 bucks. If it doesn't come back to me, yeah, I'll be pissed. It's not gonna kill me, but you know, it, it would leave a pretty sour taste in my mouth. But I decided to go ahead and do it. So when I went through and I went to checkout, I had an order that was about $250 that immediately, because I chose the cash option, I received 25% off of my cash order. Um, so by the time all is said and done, my cash order came out to be $210 and that was delivered and it was also delivered with tracked airmail. So I was able to track the package the entire way. And it was also done with what they call stealth delivery. Um, so to maintain their stealthness, I, I'm not gonna go through and really show what it was or how it was that they were packed, but 
I want to show everybody what I was able to get for $210 through Seedsman. And one of the things you'll notice right off the back is almost all of this is in the original breeder packs. So we got a five pack of Barney's Farm Feminized Tangerine Dreams. That's one full round of growing in my garden. I usually grow between four and five plants. So I was able to get five Tangerine Dream. I was able to get five Royal Gorilla which this is Royal Queen Seeds version of Gorilla Glue, number four. Um, in a seed version, I've heard it's really, really nice. This also five seeds, that's another round in my garden. I was able to get a five pack of green gelato feminized seeds. which this strain, the pictures of the buds, man, they just looked phenomenal. Really nice purple colors. Really, really interested to try that strain. And then because of my love for bomb seeds, uh, every bomb seed I've ever run has been an absolute beast. Um, I decided to go for a 10 pack of the Atomic. Um, you know, we just call it Atomic Bomb. Um, it is one of the bomb seeds, higher producing THC strains. Really excited to do this as a 10 pack. So this is worth two rounds in my garden. So here we are, that's five rounds through the garden right now. And then because of the fact that I had placed my order, um, you know, there were, there were a few different freebies that I qualified for. So because I had spent a certain amount of money with Barney's Farm, I received these peyote critical feminized seeds. And you figure they might just give you one or two, you know, because you spent 50 bucks with them. They gave me an entire five pack of peyote critical. So there's another round in my garden. And then for ordering Royal Queen seeds, they threw in one, two, three, three Royal Queen seeds, and the strain is critical. Also a really, really nice strain. And then the last freebie that I got was because of the amount that I spent in total, and these were from Seedsmen themselves. And Seedsmen themselves, they have their own seeds. Um, and they gave me a three pack of their cheese feminized seeds. As well as a three pack of their velvet bud feminized seeds. So that's one, two, I mean, all together here for $210 in cash sent around the world, I was able to get one, two, three, four, five, six with the peyote critical, six, seven, we'll call that seven full grows. You know, I'm sure not all of them will, will sprout. You know, I might have some issues, but you know, that's roughly seven rounds through my garden. It's about two years worth of me producing my medicine and it only cost me $210. I mean, you know, it was a little bit unnerving to, to send money all the way across to the other uh, continent from the United States. But, you know, I was smart about it. I sent it in a manner where I was able to track it the entire way. Um, so it's not like I just put it in an envelope and sent it. You know, I went to the post office and I was able to, to track my money being sent around the world. Once it was received, within a day of receipt, my order status was updated. Within two days, there was a shipping number or a, a tracking number on the website under my account and literally I placed the order on August 30th 
and I received the order back here in Massachusetts on September 15th. So that's exactly, you know, just over two weeks, a day over two weeks. But if you think about it, I had to send money to them first before they could even send the product back. So to be able to complete the transaction by sending cash in less than a month, I mean, come on, that's pretty insane. Two weeks back and forth, all of the extra freebies that I got, everything in their breeder packs, I couldn't be more thrilled right now with Seedsman as a company. And because of that, I am going to list Seedsman as the official seed bank of Magic Mike's Meds. And there's no sponsorship or no nothing. I, they, don't, uh, they don't pay me nothing. I don't get a, any benefit for anything. I'm saying this out of, uh, you know, the fact that I, I appreciate good commerce. And especially when it comes to something that's so important to me as a medical patient, um, being able to get me, number one, the seeds that it is that I'm looking for. I've done heavy research on the genetics that are going to work best for my medical conditions. So not only do they provide the seeds from the, the actual seed bank, they provide them in the seed bank's material so I know that I'm actually receiving what it is that... I paid for. The last round that I had uh, with GYO seeds, I just got a whole bunch of blister packs, which had, you know, it, if my whole order, let's just say it like this, if my whole order came in little plastic bags like this, I might have been a little bit upset because, you know, I, I, you can't really tell for sure what those are. You have to rely on, on the fact that it was packaged properly. Um, and, you know, when it comes to breeder's packs, you know that you're getting what it is you're, you're paying for. Um, it should grow fairly similar to what they're saying. I mean, there always is variance in phenotypes. Um, but, you know, it should display the, the THC characteristics, the CBD characteristics, not always the growth characteristics. Sometimes these plants have a real mind of their own. But... Um, Regardless, knowing that you're getting the proper genetics that you're ordering makes a huge difference. Um, you know, you, you know what it is that, that the medicine that you're making. You absolutely know for sure what it is that you're growing. You know, hopefully, if you've used the strains before, you know how it's going to react for you. Um, personally, these strains are all new to me, um, but... As a medical patient, I've been a medical patient for some time. I know the strains and the characteristics that work for me. And, uh, you know, I, I grow accordingly. But, uh, yeah, just to, to back this up, seedsman.com. Uh, the most impressed I've been with, with a, uh, a commerce company uh, in quite some time, to be honest with you. Their communication was excellent. Their customer service was excellent. I was informed the entire way. A day didn't go by where I was saying, oh my God, I wonder if I'm gonna get this or, or where my order is. Everything was constantly updated. Um, and I gotta give them definitely thumbs up. I'd give them two if I weren't holding the camera. But yeah, so anybody watching my channel, if you wanna get some great genetics, go to seedsman.com. They have really, really good descriptions of all the strains. Um, so you can mix and match, you know, if you have a multi-strain garden, which usually is what happens in my rooms, you know, you can make sure that you're growing stuff that will be comparable in size. Um, but yeah, there's a lot of great information on the site. Great customer service. Recommend them all the way. So on that note, I am signing out, but we have all of this great genetics to look forward to on the channel over the next two years. Um, you know, if you want to drop a little comment, tell me what you want to see me run next and, you know, maybe take a poll winner will, uh, will get thrown in the garden next. Unless of course I decide to, to do some more cloning or monster cropping or something of the sort. We never really know what's going to happen here on the channel. We just kind of go with the flow, but that's it for today, guys. This is Magic Mike signing out. Keep your genetics.
clean, keep them green, keep them safe, and smoke it up!